Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Work Cast. And I'm Constantine in Kelfasil Christakis from the Netrunner.nl Dats Meta. And I'm Greek, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is a Netrunner Team Work Cast with a Greek and Polish commenters yes. who are actually Netherlands and, <laughs> and German. Uh, I actually yes. have oh, relatives in Germany, so... Hmm. Yeah, that's great. I have relatives in New York, so now we are super international right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, welcome to the salad, everybody. Uh, we are uh, in Eindhoven this time around. We are, as again, we are in Game Force Star Championship on the 14th of March. On the left, we have Marcus from the previous round, a German player. On the right, we have Falco, uh, also a German player. Yeah, man, the German players just came and destroyed everything, man. <laughs> they're they're doing pretty well. There's, this is the top table. We have on the left we have Blue Sun against Quetzel again. Quetzel Quetzel being very successful among the German players. Uh, I am being the only German player on this tournament who hasn't played Quetzel. <laughs> I was I was playing uh, Max because I'm boring. Uh, and oh I have to man, also... Falco, Falco, man, why do you keep what? doing that on the videos? <laughs> He, yeah, he's the man behind the <laughs> finger, if you've ever been wondering. Yeah, I know, I know. Cool info about Falco right now. He's He started this tournament with seven beers. I'm pretty sure he's up to double digits right now. Oh, my God. Running with a middle <laughs> finger right there. This is a data pike. He loses all this money. Oh, not all this money. And running again on the HQ. <laughs> Man, Falco just doesn't care, man. I gotta oh. say, by the way, that despite the German meta coming to our tournaments and destroying us, in most of them, if not all of them, uh, we love having you guys. It's just oh, always man. amazing having you guys, because you're all so fun and so nice to play with and talk with. It's just amazing. I, thank you so much. I, I, had, I was having a blast. I was, I was having a lot of fun. Except when I was playing against Falco, because Falco is a jerk. <laughs> yeah, it, exactly. He's German, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's not our uh, fault, man. <laughs> Also, I have to point out that Falco is using the mat that I designed. Falco oh, yeah. actually bought this mat off me. Uh, um, he paid a, a data sucker oh. to, to get this map, uh, the art art data sucker. Uh, and this is actually a unique mat because this is a, a, a unique prototype oh. that is actually not available anywhere. Uh, the, if you want Marco. to get a similar mat, the the refined design, the production model, you can get it on inkedplaymats.com. It is available now. Uh, the difference is that there is a um, oh, uh, Christian a grid, Christian grid uh, from HQ. And oh man, oh, oh man. this this is going fast. I, there there is a heal and alpha test on the on the other mat. Anyways, we see a uh, Falco installs. Um, uh, data leak reversal, and then he gets a uh, um, uh, arbitrage code plastic. Yeah, arbitrage code plastic. Nice setup for uh, Falco thus far. Yes, as soon as he gets tagged, stuff will get serious. They're both basically playing the money game and the set the setup game right now. Yeah. Uh, he's uh, Marcus wants to trash the the, the the stuff, but he's not tagged yet. He yep. has to, he run on uh, uh, HQ to install the data reversal, but he needs to be tagged in order to start actually milling. That's uh, a Marcus. good that's a good preparing thing, though. I mean, yeah. as soon as he gets tagged, he can like use it right away. And the cool thing that with something like account stuff, he gets he can get tagged in his turn, and he starts yeah. can start milling right away. So most people like think like wait for the data leak reversal until they're tagged. Yeah, true. but I think th this way around makes more more sense. I feel because it's like it, no, it doesn't necessarily make more sense. It's yeah. like a good way to intimidate because yeah, you're definitely. like you know I have this plan as well. Yeah, so the core player has to consider it. Yeah, and there's a the data sucker. Interestingly, so there's a run on archives to get a data sucker token. And it's no, is it archives? Yeah, it's archives. Yeah, and it's then archives. The, and then I guess that was a Jackson, Jackson that was used. Ooh, restructuring. restructuring. Marcus just doesn't care. Just continues with the plan, with the with the blue sun plan of being filthy rich. Where do you think is he going to install the Christian grid? Is that like for R and D, like maker's eyes rounds and stuff like that? I that's a Christian grid is a good include for these days. Any like against any kind of uh, oh. sh an arc, but I yeah, like what HQ. he did on HQ is I think is much more much much more sensible than yeah. doing it on on R and D. R and D like keyhole you can stop a keyhole by just by taxing. This mod modest taxing makes keyholes interesting uninteresting. What is Falco doing? He just keeps running into the data pack. Oh no, oh, Falco! Oh man, Falco! Oh and no! Falco of course installs the parasite no. and then uh, trashes Caesar. the parasite with the data sucker tokens, and then. 
and sees a card from the top of R&D, but it it's was nothing. It was a firewall. Yeah. So we know that Marcus is playing big guys as well. Oh, big guys, you know, like mediocre eyes. Uh, it's, it's a medium <laughs> ice. I like that there's ice wall and firewall, and firewall has all this this commentary that's like the the flavor text also referencing ice wall. Oh man, yeah. it's, uh, mm, all the, so good. All the synergy in the thing is great. Uh, it's so good. So so many references, bro. Not a great thing though, firewall, because Quetzal just breaks it, right? That's true. Only once per turn, but yeah. still pretty powerful to be able to get through a five credit res cost ice. That's true. I like running every turn and then, of course, getting data sucker tokens and everything. It's really yeah. Good. But on RD, I think it's okay. Ooh, Ooh a lot of spell. That, that's what's not great. Not good for Quetzal, I guess. <laughs> no, no. Now, now Falco really needs to have, find a solution for this. He can't parasite this. Yeah, and he can't yog it either. So, unless he runs like yeah. a personal tats or something, he needs to have like a. A strength and a an ice breaker that can be strengthened up basically. He he can spoon it out though because it's so creamy. We're running on HQ and trashing the um, the Chrisium grid because there's no rest otherwise. Yeah. Interesting. So Marcus has some. Oh, he's accessing HQ and he's trashing the Chrisium grid. Mm. Mm -hmm. Marcus decides not to rest that thing in front of HQ. Interesting. And then he gets back the. Why did he just get back the ice? I guess he wants to confuse Falk about what kind of ice he is um, installing. <laughs> Shuffling a lot. He actually has a lotus field in his hand. He has so a lotus field in his hand, he, which he just put on the remote. So maybe the ice on R&D is something new? Yeah, data a, pike again! Exactly! Ooh. Oh man! Nice it's, play! It's good! It's good! That's a really oh, nice man. play. <laughs> Another parasite! No! Deja vu parasite. You burn all the pikes. Marcus, you know that the, you know that the data pike is not a secure ice. Why did you bring it back, man? We know oh, that the, it hasn't been patched yet. It hasn't been patched. There is a known security leak with that ice. Well, it's not like he's losing agendas. I'm still amazed about how much pressure Falco can create out of three credits. This is insane. Yeah. Getting a credit running on hand. He wants to have a credit in order uh, to score an NAPD. Sees just the interns again. And getting another credit. He's getting the data cycle counters as well, which are pretty important, I guess, to his deck. Yeah. Considering he runs Parasite, Deja Vu, and Data Cycle, I would see a synergy there. Oh man. I'm, I'm so glad that there's a second Lotus Field right there. Yeah, true. Because that, that's that going to be a problem for, uh, for Falco right now. Yeah, I don't know if Falco, that if Falco even has a solution for this. Oh, oh Ooh, man. Okay, that's a cool trick. What is that? Is that a wormhole? No, 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 no. That's a nebula. That's the big buyer ice with the one in the round. Can you, can you, do you that's have, it, right? Do you have any memory what it is? Because I will look it up right now. You, what is your prediction what it is? It, I think it's a nebula, the big barrier stellarized that just ends a run. Mm -hmm. how, how, what strength is it? I think like six. <laughs> you are correct. This is no, it's a strength five, but it costs five. nine credits to rest. It is nebula, it is a destroyer sentry, it oh. trashes the program. Oh, so they that's all look the same. Good, man. Although resing it in Falco's <laughs> face would have been they're, they're, slightly better. Yeah. Well, they, they all have like stars and stuff, so it's pretty confusing. Yeah, yeah, space ice or cosmic ice if you go if you go the uh, Terminal Seven route. <laughs> oh, he got paid. He got paid. So Bluson is doing work here, just restructuring again. Yeah, just just <laughs> getting all those robots into there and just getting all those building all the money. Firing all their employees, getting robots instead. <laughs> Burning houses for money. <laughs> yeah. Very Wayland thing to do. Install Ooh, advance. Install advance. And as we predicted, that's the that's yeah that's the um Lotus Lotus field. and just stops Falco cold. I bet Falco is really pissed at those uh Lotus fields right now. Falco doesn't care. Falco just just is like a hoddy badger of Netrunner. He doesn't care. He just runs on HQ, stresses the uh, Jackson <laughs> Howard there, runs again, 
Sure, there's the uh, there's the nebula again. Whatever, I don't care. Uh, dirty laundry on the oh, <laughs> man. No, by the way, just, it's he's just moving him right now. What? Marcus has a cyberdex uh, in his hand, I think, or does he? Or was Ooh. that the interns? That could be interesting. Mm, could be an intern, so you both have a very oh, very similar color same. scheme. But Cybernetics would be also nice right now, although not too many like really mean uh, yeah. viruses right now. Yeah. Right now. I think you wait for this uh, for this until the um, medium comes yeah. out. And there's Ooh, name an a- in APD score. <laughs> not the agenda you want to score first, but yep. But it's two points, I guess. It's still two points. Yeah. yeah. You don't complain about two points. It's a start. Falco drawing for answers. Also, it's kind of nice that, that uh, Marcus has the secure server going on there right now. <laughs> Dirt laundry on Marcus's hand. Yeah. What? Look I'll... at how ballsy. Yeah, Falco mm-hmm. just drops like a dirty laundry like a boss on the table. Uh, that's just the beer in his veins right now. It's just, he just <laughs> doesn't care, man. He just runs on stuff. Another same old thing. Same old thing at DLR in the same deck? That's strange. Yeah, that's that's weird, yeah, right? Yeah, that, that's... Yeah. You, they, you would assume these two cards are not compatible with each other. Yeah, but I guess DLR is just like a... A, a solution in case everything else goes wrong for Falco. Also, I'm guessing maybe Falco is um, is uh, didn't expect uh, the same old thing to be to be drawn first. Like he expects to play it and use it immediately in the turn he plays it. Yeah, that could also be like for for Days of War or something, I guess. Oh, he actually uses I've seen worse to draw cards. Interesting. Okay. Oh, he wants to oh. see the cards. He wants. Oh, Eater! There we go. Ooh. Now it gets interesting. Yep. Now those same old things are gonna come into play because he can actually use them to burn. Like, if he only has like one knife, he can use it like twice. So running on HQ. <laughs> and he pays the two credits to. Yeah, because it's just about the same thing as mm. breaking it with Eater for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like he's gonna gain access anyway. So. Yeah. So what is Falco going to do about this? I guess I should, should have paid one credit for this. He paid one credit. Yeah. Y- you break the lose two credit subroutine and then don't break the end run subroutine. Oh yeah, true, true. Eater is a two strength, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a two. Yeah. It's 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 a corroda for everything. Ooh, and you're remote. You have to remind maybe listeners who aren't familiar. Eater is like the new hotness right now. It's a breaker that is two strengths, breaks subroutine for one, one credit and can be pumped for one credit. It's an AI breaker that breaks every type of ice. But if you use it during a run, you can access zero cards during the run. Oh, look at what just happened. Yeah. Same old, uh, that's a Look at what just happened. Uh, yeah, that, that's, a, that's happening right now. That's a cow siphon right now. Yeah, and he just saw that Marcus installed the Christian Grid on R&D, he, so he just had like the freedom to account Siphon safely on HQ now with Theater. Oh man. Yeah, Marcus, that wasn't a wise install if that was a Christian Grid. That, that could have been so much wiser on the other thing. Yeah, but I guess like Marcus feared the keyhole runs. But whatever, like he breaks the... the, the Lotus Field for three credits, how many keyholes will he be able to do, right? Yeah, true. He didn't have that much money. Like, maybe two keyholes. And and if, if he has to install the keyhole for four credits, I mean, come on, man. Like, this is just a really taxing thing. So you probably want a Chrism Grid. Like, guys, if you're playing against an Anarch, the modern Anarch, play the Chrism Grid on HQ first, please. It's yeah. much more taxing on a. On, it's much more important to protect the HQ than to protect the RD. When you see blue, you just play it on HQ either way, <laughs> just to be sure. Yeah, like HQ, you account size from wanton destruction. Those are the two things that you will need to be worried about. Wanton destruction. Or legwork, even. Legwork is also. No, it does legwork trigger off the thing? Yeah, because it, it says if successful, you access three cards instead okay. of one. Alright, so legwork as well. Legwork as well. There's so many mean things that can that can happen with HQ, and not yeah. too many mean things that can happen with R&D. 
Oh man, he just DLR'd one card with his last click after the account siphon. And that and was he, an agenda. That was an agenda, oh my god. Uh, so using data leak reverse now, oh man, and look at, at Marcus, he's at one credit, oof. But he can that trust the other DLR as well. Because there was an account siphon with the same old thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was same thing a con siphon there. So we, yeah, Marcus lost ten credits to to him installing Crimson Grid on the wrong server right now. Oh man, Marcus has no money. That was a huge misplay. That was. I'm gonna come out and say that this this was the misplay of the game right now. Crimson Grid should have gone on HQ. Yeah, true. I'm so definite about this because I know Marcus. They're from the same meta. Don't didn't they know yeah. like. <laughs> Nah, you, the thing is, like, we, Marcus drove us to this tournament. Okay. And we got got Falco drunk on some some train station, and Falco actually constructed his deck on the in the backseat of the car. Oh man. Because Marcus actually bought uh, the Order and Chaos for Falco. Oh man. Okay. So this was crazy. So we see a um, uh, nerf agent there. Yeah, multiple access on HQ. But of course, if you use the Eater, he can access zero anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh. But the idea is, of course, to add, to con to to collect the virus counters and then eventually g g g get into HQ as in some other ways and then see all the cards in HQ. Yeah, he could play like a knife run or something, like just burn the ice that is in front of it. Oh, but yeah. Marcus is protecting. Wait, he... why the ice wall, Marcus? What's wrong with the ice wall? Yeah, that, why the ice wall? I guess he doesn't have the money. I mean, he really has zero money right now. This is really... Oh, man, and Falco is excited <laughs> about this. Falco really wants to see, uh, wants to see uh, Marcus crash and burn here. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have the feeling that both players are having a lot of fun right now. Yeah. Well, uh, you... then There we go, Virus. Oh, man. So what could the first thing be? So Ice Wolf could have protected there. Yeah, because it's just one more eyes there. So he's gonna access one card. Oh man, Marcus making so many misplays right now. But th that's the problem, like with Rx. It, it it seems like there's no right way around this. I mean, if there was the ice wall up there, I mean, Falco could have broken it with a with a with a Quest's ability, right? So the ice wall wasn't actually doing anything there. So maybe that was a good play after all. Yeah, that is true. Trashing the Jackson. That is true, he does have Quetzal. Not necessarily, because Ice Wall could have worked like... Um... Oh. oh man. NAPD. Oh man, now he's accessing a lot of cards with uh, with Nerf Agent. And now there's just lo all sorts of pressure and Marcus just can't stabilize. Uh, what will you do, Marcus? This is this is bad. Get back that that yeah. Get back that thing. You need all the money in the world. Yeah. But of course now, like taking back ice will slow him down even more. Just one more click that he needs to spend every turn. How do you bounce back from this now? Like, damn. This looks bad. Although Falco just has four four agenda points. I mean, it's he's not winning yet. He's winning in general, huh? <laughs> yeah, like generally he's winning. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Marcus has to set up something to protect R&D again, and he can't have any agendas in hand unless he purges. Um, this is really bad. I mean, how many tokens are... Like, look at this, there's like 10 tokens on on, uh, on Data Sucker. Data Sucker, yeah. That is dangerous. Marcus installed something in front of R&D. Uh, we assume that's still the Lotus Field. Oh, he pays the money to trash! Nice. Oh, he wants to turn off the money, Falco's money, but it's difficult. The thing is, we know, that, we know yeah. that Eater can make use of the data soccer tokens to actually break through ice either way. Like, that's economy as well. Yeah. And... Oh man, he doesn't... Uh, Falco runs on R&D, uh, no rest from Marcus, and he there's just an oversight AI there, so no problem there. All right, Caduceus on HQ. That's good. Ooh, raising Caduceus. Really nice, juicy taxing ice. No break. Yeah. And ooh, zero link on Quetzal making Falco pay a lot right now. Wow, Falco just pays through an entire thing. He paid five to break through that. 
He says everything. No. No, he didn't. I guess he didn't. Did, did he? We, why does he have? Oh, I guess there was a fiver. All right. Yeah, because Quetzal has zero link, so he has to pay up to that trace. And Falco even says fucking an APD. Like if he sees an APD, he won't be able to score it. But he, there, he didn't see an APD because he still saw like four cars there. <laughs> Jesus, Falco. Will Falco ever stop his assault? All right, getting credits. I think the right thing to do for Falco right now is just to wait and like prepare for some more runs on R and D in a bit, because he doesn't see anything in eight Q and he saw R and D as well. So I don't know. He has he has uh, Marcus against the wall right now. Yeah, Marcus he does. Is really struggling. He cannot rest more than one ice in front of HQ or R and D, and whatever he does, Falco will have just access whatever. He keeps protecting HQ though. I mean, if he doesn't have an agenda, I, I don't see why he would protect HQ. Oh, oh because account siphon. I yeah, mean, true, true. Oversight AI on Tollbooth on the remote server, that's nice. Yeah, that's that, good. that could net him some money, even if an account siphon is successful. But it doesn't matter, because Falco can just break it. I mean, he will lose three credits for this, but he can just break it with all the data sucker tokens. He runs on HQ though. What is he doing with the same old thing? Is it account siphon? Oh yeah, it's account siphon. He's raising his tag, so... Siphon. I asked them specifically to show the cars that they did the same old thing, but they didn't. Assholes. And there's a medium and running on R&D. Oh man, no rest. <laughs> oh, this is bad. But <laughs> lucky enough, this is just... Wow. <laughs> uh, he wasted so many clicks this turn. Yeah, medium oh, and, and nerf agents and uh, oh man, this is just and then of course he breaks the tollbooth there. He breaks the tollbooth there to to the... no, he doesn't. He doesn't. Mark, oh man, this is this is a possibility for Marcus. He Marcus gets back the tollbooth, gets the eight credits from the tollbooth. Falco didn't break the tollbooth, so uh, eight credits for free. That's great. Install, install. He can start pumping out. He can. St he can start pumping out the points now, as long as he can protect R&D a little bit. But, but look at this relentless pressure right now. This is amazing. Yeah. I love it. Oh, data pike. It's just a data pike. It's good. It's good. That's good. <laughs> it's, except Falco might have a parasite. That, it's a thing that can happen. Yeah, or a Dezavu. Let's see. Falco has the potential to do such things. He is known. <laughs> Does he pull out cards from... Oh, that's just a oh, stupid... Man. Oh. It is money, though. It is really good money. And... Okay, getting the sexy bots. <laughs> By the way, do you like the promo for Adonis campaign? Because lots of people dislike it. Nobody likes the promo for Adonis I campaign. I love it. It's pretty good. You do? Yeah, it's, pre it's pretty. Uh, you think it's pretty? Yeah, okay, uh, that sounded weird. I'm a guy and stuff, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm not even, not, not even in a sexual sense. I mean, you really think that's a, that's like yeah. a high quality artwork then? It's not like high quality, but it's like, it shows how like busy mega cities have like those big ads like on the, on the buildings and stuff. It's like really cool, like the whole picture and stuff. That's an argument I can get behind. Like the huge yeah. billboard is something that really communicates. Like this is huge urban style, like you know, like Blade Runner kind of stuff, right? Yeah, it's not like, like the most. And Blade Runner, yeah, yeah. It's not the most good-looking promo, but oh you know. man, look, Car Falco installs not a data leak reversal and just mills two cards. Oh uh, man, Falco, why? Uh, You're this is not cool. Falco, you terrible person. <laughs> you why are you so mean to to Marcus right now? This is this is embarrassing right now. Well, oh, Marcus man. has another card installed in, in behind the data pike. He's he has three ice rest. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> he's just three credits. But what else? I think the Lotus Field is like amazing there. So like just yeah. like keeping Falco out of that server. Lotus Field MVP right now. Yeah, unless he draws like a spoon or something, or whatever the card is that burns Koki. Even if he draws, a, even if he draws a spoon, this would be very taxing to to trash the ice. Yeah, it would. Because it's, it's his strength can't be uh, lowered, so he has to go with, he has to go with full on eater. Yeah, so three credits alone, and then spoon like two or one credit. And yeah. So yeah, that would be, and of course he has to do all the recursion or whatever. Trashing the data leak reverse, yeah, this this one guess has to go. Yeah. 
And that's the good thing about data leak reverse. Something I forget always about this. Like even if the the corporation just decides to trash it, it's still incredibly taxing. One click and two credits. Ugh. Something a lot of corporations are not in a situation in to do. Oversighting in either the Lotus field, whatever. Let's do this. Oh man, that's not a good idea though. That's really not a good idea right now. Oh, that was the one eye that was keeping you alive, Marcus. What did you do there? Oh man, does he want like the fast money or something? Like that was oh, the man. one eye. You had one job, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man. Oh, exactly. Three credits and he's in. Yeah. Then that ice is gone now. Medium three cards access. You you got too greedy, Marcus. You were you were recovering, Marcus. <laughs> and now of course medium triggers and he sees all the cards in the world. Oh, and it's gone. No, it's no. gone, Marcus. That was the huge misplay. This was you were too greedy, Marcus. Well, you were maybe, too greedy. Maybe he didn't have any other answers, I mean. Because to be honest, if uh, Falco decided to make just like a glory round there until <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Why did you do this, Marcus? Why did you do this? Did you learn that on Octagon, Marcus? Okay. Oh, this! Uh, I'm furious, Marcus. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna. To I have to. Oh, I will have man. to have a talk about this with Marcus next time on on our regular <laughs> trying to meet up. I don't know what happened there. I I will be as critical to myself later on when I will play against Falco. Will you? But <laughs> I will be. I will be. But uh, so, uh, yeah, this was this was exciting. I mean, it's exciting to see those two clash, and exciting to see the uh, Falco especially being so relentless with this deck. I think that was a very exciting uh, quest build. Everybody's excited about Max, and I think that's that's a very exciting new identity. But Quetzal is also being all the Anarchs are being more energized by the new cards that I just came out. Oh well, it was it was a hard game. It was really hard on Marcus, I guess. Like the constant pressure from accounts, iPhones and stuff just yeah, kept him yeah. poor the whole time. But it was But it's fascinating to see like, like those those new anarchs be, uh, putting the corporation so much under pressure. Yeah, that Christian greed was the first thing that Marcus did wrong. If that Christian greed was on the uh, HQ, I think he would have been able to pull back into the game faster. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And of course, the second mistake, the game-winning mistake, was the. The oversighted um, yeah. uh, Lotus Field. That was that was just that was just silly. But I guess that was just a desperate move in the end. <laughs> no, I mean it's just experience po experience points that we're currently collecting here. I mean this new cards. Nobody ex understands how everything works. Like there's just so many things that you have to consider right now with Eater and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. That's why we. That's why we're recording those videos, that's why we're commenting those videos, that's why we're playing all those videos. Constantine, what is netrunners.nl? Uh, netrunners.nl is the uh, Dats home. No, no, it, yeah, it's a home for the Dats community, to put it like that. And we have like all kinds of things, like strategy posts and tournament reports, and even an event calendar showing you all the events that are going on in the Netherlands and a bit outside of it. So yeah, definitely check it out if you're interested in knowing what's going on. There's always something fun to check out. Especially if you're in the Netherlands or if you're nearby of the Netherlands, that's a great yeah. place to check out all the stuff that's happening in the Netherlands. Great community that I had a lot of fun with. And you know what I would have a lot of fun with right now? Yeah, I think I would. I think you would hack the planet! 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 Shut up and get in the car! Excellent.